Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, my question is to the Assistant Minister for Social Services, Senator Firefield. Can the Minister advise the Senate of the latest quarterly results on the operation of the National Disability Insurance Scheme? The Assistant Minister for Social Services, Senator Firefield. Uh, thanks, uh, Mr. President, and thanks, uh, Senator Williams, uh, for the question. Uh, the uh, last uh, quarter's uh, report uh, for the National Disability Insurance Scheme uh, was uh, released today, uh, and uh, it contains good news uh, that there are now uh, 17,300 uh, participants uh, in the NDIS who have uh, support plans in place. Uh, and $952 million uh, has been uh, committed to people with disability uh, so that they can choose the services that are best for them. Uh, Mr President, uh, this, uh, this represents uh, 94 per cent of the bilateral agreements uh, with the jurisdictions, which is up from 85 per cent uh, since the last quarterly report. Uh, and I can also report that the cost of uh, average packages, excluding residents in large institutions, uh, is $33,597. Uh, this is uh, lower uh, than the last quarterly average at $34,907 and remains below the expected full scheme average of $36,750. So uh, the scheme uh, is operating uh, within its funding envelope. Uh, I can also advise colleagues uh, that, participate, uh, that satisfaction levels amongst participants uh, are high uh, in the scheme, that the, the experience of participants is good, uh, that the scheme is making a difference uh, in the lives of uh, individuals. Uh, and uh, the good news, Mr. President, is those individuals are now uh, at the centre uh, and in control uh, of the supports uh, that uh, they receive. And uh, I'll take uh, Senator Conroy's interjection, but I'll uh, change it a little bit to say, isn't it good that there was bipartisan support for the NDIS and that the coalition in opposition were wholehearted supporters of the NDIS uh, and are continuing uh, this important program through uh, building it? Uh, giving a good stewardship through to completion. Thank you, Minister. Senator Williams, supplementary question. Yeah, thank you, Mr. President. I have a supplementary question. Can the Minister inform the Senate on the progress of the early rollout of the NDIS in Western Sydney? Minister. Thanks, uh, Mr. President. Uh, well, the, uh, the NDIS uh, is about to start delivering uh, much needed early intervention services uh, for about 2,000 children. Uh, and young people in uh, Western Sydney from the start of next month. Uh, this is an agreement uh, that was signed between uh, the Abbott uh, and the Baird governments. Uh, it's the first uh, step uh, for the NDIS uh, beyond the existing trial sites. Uh, Western Sydney, as colleagues know, does uh, have a high need when it comes to uh, early intervention services for children uh, with disability. And uh, I do want to acknowledge the advocacy of the member for Macquarie, Louise Marcus, and also the member for Lindsay, Fiona Scott, uh, and also the Senator for Western Sydney, uh, Senator Payne, uh, who was also a very strong and passionate advocate. Uh, Mr President, uh, the government has uh, invested uh, $20 million uh, this financial year uh, to make uh, this a possibility. Uh, preparations are well underway. Uh, local area coordinators are already in place uh, and working with families. Thank you, Minister. Final supplementary question, Senator Williams. Thank you, Mr President. Can the Minister advise the Senate how the government is working with the states and territories to deliver the NDIS. Minister. Uh, thanks, Mr President. Uh, colleagues, I know, will be aware uh, that uh, the NDIS is a major undertaking and that a full scheme. There will be about 460,000 uh, participants in the scheme. Uh, I'm currently working uh, with my state and territory counterparts, uh, negotiating uh, schedules of how each uh, state and territory will transition uh, from the existing trials to full scheme. Uh, this year's budget uh, demonstrated clearly uh, the government's commitment to the NDIS both now uh, and into the future. Uh, and uh, you'll recall, uh, Mr. President, that uh, we announced uh, $143 million to build a new ICT system for the full scheme, uh, and that we're committing nearly $700 million uh, to the NDIS uh, this year. Uh, and I look forward uh, to continuing to work uh, with my uh, state and territory colleagues on the agreements for full scheme. And I do also want to take the opportunity of acknowledging uh, the good work of the parliamentary NDIS uh, oversight committee, uh, chaired by Mr Malbruff, uh, which uh, is operating on a non-partisan basis. Thank you, Minister. Senator Collins. Thank you, Mr.